Welcome to Quits Gaming. We are playing Monsters. We being Basil and myself. And we have just been told to go pick up firewood in the southern part of the map. And uh, I am super concerned because not only have all of my three buddies tried to rape the girl tried tied to the tree, uh, and everyone's just kind of shrugging it off like, oh, it's, uh, it's just a bad decision they made. I'm, I'm sorry, but rape is not a bad decision they made. Rape is something very serious and should not ever be done. Ever. Um. But, aside, uh, apparently she was tied up by her ex-boyfriend, if that's not weird enough, and left to die. So, you know, just normal Tuesday for some of us. Um, aside from that, we're just wandering around looking for firewood. Can I? I can't run, can I? That doesn't work. Tab doesn't work. Yeah, I don't think I can run. I'm just literally stuck here. Just puttering back and forth. I wonder if I can go this way. Probably not. Nope. But aside from that, apparently two of our friends have opted to go walk back to the, uh, well, the road, I guess you'd call it, and try to find help, if there is any help to be had. Um, and then the other friend should be up north. Well, I only found a couple, though. Doesn't make sense. I should have found at least a couple more than that, huh? Well, let's at least go back and see if maybe. Here, land stand one, two. Well, see that? That actually seems like a legit. There's no firewood up here. Actually, seems like a legit reason. I mean, still don't trust him though. Because he was there too, so I mean, apparently that's not one. Okay, they're they're here somewhere. They're not these ones. They're like the sparkly ones. To find the fucking sparkly ones, can't go that way. Can I go this way? Through here? No. Oh shit. This might actually take a while. Hmm. Oh! Ah! Okay, so, I'm a moron. I just... I didn't... understand that apparently I could jump automatically? So, that being said, I am going to go back. Boop, boop. And do, 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 do. I'm gonna go back and guard my woman with all of my heart and soul and uh I don't know fervor manliness all my testosterone. I'm gonna guard her with all my testosterone. Seems like something I do. Uh so far this guy Yes, place the firewood. This guy, Zach, doesn't seem like it's too bad, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Sorry, stuff going on in the background. Well, let's see what my journal says. That, no, that's not it. I'm gonna ask that south and get it to firewood. Well, I already did that. Guess I should save. Save often. Save often. Oh, you look awake? Unfortunately, my arms are sore as hell. Do you want to sing me a lullaby to put me back to sleep? If I knew any, I would. So what's going on? Have you had any luck? Can't say. The others haven't come back yet, so it's just me and Zach for now. You ready to keep me entertained for a few hours again? You really get bored easily, don't you? No, I just, I just thought that I'd get to know everyone a little better is all. 
And I'm going to head back down, right? I already gave her some food, so don't worry about her getting hungry. Sure thing. That It's a little weird because it's kind of like a, a pet. It's like I already gave her some food. You want to know every or you want to know everyone a little better? Yeah, I guess I can see where you're coming from since you have to stick with us for the time being. Did you talk to Zach while he, I was out collecting food? A little bit. He's kind of a goofball. It's too busy talking to listen and anything I say, but that's fine. Just keep him busy for a while. Where are you from? I am from Portland. <gasps> Portland, Oregon. It's quite a ways from here. Or is it like Portland, Maine? Something wrong? Thinking. When I came back home, or when I come back home, what am I going to do when I see him again? I know I should tell the police, but I'm scared. What? He can't do anything to you anymore. No, it's not what I mean. I'm scared of what will happen with my family and his friends. And even though he did something terrible to me, I'm scared of hurting him. Hey, fuck that guy. That's what I say. Fuck that guy. He's just getting what he deserves. I know, I know, but it just doesn't feel right to me. Besides, I don't know if anyone will believe me. We're all witnesses. We'll back you up. I know that there's- <laughs> I know that, at the very least. I won't keep quiet about this. You don't have to worry about anything. Thank you. I know I've been playing a lot, but- Oh, I've been saying a lot, but it means a lot to me. Hey guys, I'm back. They want- Oh, the guys are back. They want you to come down. I'll be there in a second. If it's that really bothering you, I think- Think it through and pick the decision you know you'll regret, regret the least. It's a lot easier to make choices when you put it that way. I, I have to agree, it is actually a lot easier. I usually say, is this something you're going to be happy that you did a year in advance? Lost signal. Night two. Mm. Can you believe that shit? Not a single fucking car. I'm sure we'll have better luck tomorrow. <sighs> That's a sigh. Aiden, listen, about last night, I know you were mad at us, but to break the bad news to you, it's not stopping there. What? When we were all in the car while you were staying up, we decided that if we're going to be stuck here for a while, we might as well make the most of it. Look, it'll be fine, okay? We'll just play around with her a bit, no need to blow a gasket. Personal sentiments aside, what's your plan here? What are you going to do when we get back home? Are you just going to screw her and then leave her here? That That is pretty messed up. Like, how can you just be like you? Listen, bro, we're going to rape this girl. Hey, hey, of course we won't do that. We're not that terrible, right? It'll be fine because we saved her. She can't complain, and even if she did, who's going to believe her? I don't agree with this either. Then just stay out of it, yeah? You don't have to participate. How could you even think about doing something like this? She's just a stranger. Do you care about what happens to the lady working at the register of the Starbucks you visited the other day? Of course not. You don't know her. It doesn't affect you. Wow, this guy is a sociopath in like every aspect of the word. We'll have our fun, make sure she'll keep quiet, and then we all uh, just carry on with our lives. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Barrett, you're in on this too? I'm not going to let you. Yes, you are. So why don't you sit back and be a good friend? Are these people really my friends? Are these the people I've been hanging out with for years? Even if I wanted to help her, I can't take them all on. I disagree. How am I going to approach this? Come on, let's go. You can wait here, Aiden. Not okay. No, that that is not okay. That is not okay at all. And that is really messed up. I can't believe what's happening in front of me right now. I have no choice but to believe it. Well, I'm going to get away, get away from me, help, help. This is bad. What am I even going to do now that I'm here? Get away by the car. Yeah, I'm gonna fight. Can't watch this. I've got to do something. <laughs> How? Fuck. What was what was that for? I need to cut this shit out. Is that what this is about? Really fucked up now, Aiden. You know what? I consider myself a pretty apathetic person when it comes down to it. But, uh, yeah, I would not stand for that shit. Anyone who would is a monster. 
Shit, he took the keys back from me. By all means. What happened? Your clothes are all torn up. I was so scared. I was afraid that he might kill you. When he knocked you out, I just couldn't do anything. It's okay, I'm okay. He won't go that far. But they... did they? It wasn't anything serious. They didn't rape me. It just never should have happened. I think they would have... would ever do something like this. The brown-haired one, that one you hit, he told me to tell you that there were any hard feelings when you wake up. Figures he'd say something like that. Here, take this. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Thank you. That is horrible. Do you remember how I said that my boyfriend did this to me because he thought I was cheating on him? I wasn't telling the truth. Not entirely. Not entirely? What do I look like to you? What do you mean? You look like a person, I guess. What else? Like a girl? Not a girl. Not on the outside, anyway. When my boyfriend found out, he was furious. Everything just kind of fell apart at that point, then he escalated to this. Why didn't you tell him before you started dating him? He was someone that I'd admired for a long time. I wanted to be with him no matter what, and I was worried that telling him the truth would scare him away, and I just couldn't accept that. Even then, why would he act so drastically? All he needed to do was break up with you, right? He took it personally. Personally. I blew up. All of this happened because I thought for once I'd do him a special kind of favor. Shit, I'm sorry. Some people take that kind of thing seriously, so you've got to be more careful. I know. I've learned my lesson. This hard? This is hard, you know? I've been trying to rack my brains for a solution to this, but I don't see anything happening. Even if I got you free, like, then what? I can't fight them all, and if you, if I snuck you into the car and left them behind, I don't think I'd be able to do that either. They've done some terrible things to you, but they're still my friends. No. We shared a lot of years together. For the record, I don't give a shit how many years we've shared together. If you rape someone, I am going to not be your friend anymore. As for convincing them, chances are slim to that too. I'm sorry, this is hard on you too, isn't it? No shit, but you shouldn't be concerned about that. You just got pretty much molested. For now, I think I'll just go to sleep. Good night. Wow. Well, I'm glad that they had the, uh... I'm glad that they had the whole, like, disclaimer in the beginning. So, apparently Elaine is not a lady. She is a transvestite. And apparently she was still molested, but not raped. And then again, that could could be a, a lot of things. Like there's there's several ways of molesting someone without actually raping them. I still consider it rape. If it's something they don't want to do, it's rape. And anyone who does it is a total asshole. And, uh, nobody's inside. at him already? You're an asshole. Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, just stay out of it next time, okay? I don't want to hurt you. That's still up for debate. You're a real masochist, aren't you? Why don't you give it a rest already and let us have our fun? And man, you... your punches are fucking brutal. I almost forgot why we didn't stop playing punchy buggy. I guess we're even now. Since when did I knock you out cold? Good point, but we're not discussing that now. Barrett and I went last time, so you and Zach are going to strike fabulous poses for any potential picker-uppers, got it? Even knowing what he's done, I can't help but fall back into my casual conversation tone with him. Something in me really wants to hate his guts, but it's hard to hate a guy that you've known for so long. No, it is not. If I find that you've been touched Elaine again, I'll punch you five times as hard. Scary. I'll try to keep my hands off, but it's, but it's you. As long as you keep your world, or world, as long as you keep your world, as long as you keep your word. 
this guy's a dumbass and that other guy's a sociopath pretty much hey about last night it's okay no no it's not okay that wasn't supposed to happen we left you there because seth said you need some space to calm down well he's right if i woke up and he was the first thing i saw i would have slugged him i would do worse than slug him you're not going to slug me are you i might sheesh are you sure you're not going to budge in on this no matter what i could ask you the same thing come on don't you have anything that you would do if no one would ever find out? For me, this is one of those things. And since everyone's already on board with it, I'm sure as hell not passing up the opportunity. So, you would rape someone if no one would ever find out. Don't you feel bad for her at all? I mean, a little bit, I guess. I don't know, man. I can't help myself. Seth's even worse. He just wanted to straight up pull his... Mm, put stuff in her. And Barrett and I told him that was going too far. But tonight... Even I kind of want to try it. You know, there are girls that are into, like, roleplay. You don't have to actually go out and rape someone. Don't. I'm asking you as a friend. Do not make this any worse than it already is. Especially if they find out that she's a he. Can you imagine, like, finding out you raped a guy? And then... Even worse, because they'd get mad about it. And probably, like, beat the crap out of her. This is just all painful. I'll think about it, but I can't guarantee anything. I'll tell you the truth, I've been fantasizing about having sex with her all day. The more I daydream about it, the harder it is for me to keep myself under control. Just wait, alright? You can wait and you can wait it out and maybe get a girlfriend later. Then you can do it however much or however much you want with her, but if you do this now you'll be doing something irreversible. You're going to look back on today and it will haunt you for the rest of your life. I can't wait, Aiden. Wow, really? You never had a girlfriend? That's the thing about people. If we have something right now, we won't wait five minutes. And who knows if I ever get a, might get a girlfriend? I'm pretty sure you will eventually. Is there nothing I can do to convince you? Then again, if you're an asshole uh, and willing to rape a girl, then you probably won't get a girlfriend because you're a monster. Selfish like that. That's a shame. Hey, I've got to grab something. I'll be back, so stay near the road, all right? No. No. He's gonna go rape her. <sighs> Maybe I'll wander off to the sides a little bit while I'm waiting. Looking out for any cars that might show up. Gotta stay near the road, but maybe I'll wander off to the sides a little bit. This is like a lot of feels. Anyway. I will pick this back up on the next episode of Quits Gaming. Thank you for joining me.